There we go. What's up, everybody? What's up, Stitch? Ah! Oh. One second. We're here. I need to claim my thingies. Hold on. Gummy bears, slowly, slowly eating the gummy bears. Fun fact: I used to, I used to do horrible things to gummy bears. Take their heads off, or their little nubs of their of the appendages. If you have a safety pin, you can stab him. Alright. So, Daga should be done. Both of them. And I gave you water. Oh, no, 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 I have to go get into this one. Subsume one. These 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 gummy bears taste amazing. Alright, so we're gonna go level up basic daggers. Because I mean there's no other one. Oh. Alright, so her abilities are what? I don't even remember. It's been a couple months. I'm behind, I know, I know. Okay. I'm not gonna remember any of these. Alright. Alright, so let's let's do the, the basics for this. Interesting. Whatever I do, it's going to be, it's going to do something like negative. So, all right, well, let's go to these then first. Um, let's do intensify. You can't go wrong with intensify. Um, we can do this. Get a little bit of extra oomph. Um, this could be a content one that we want continuous going on, or yeah, probably. Just do extra. 
sum that one up. I don't have that one leveled up at all. It's not going completely crazy. Okay. Slapping some arcanes. Honestly, it was a grace. And energize. You can't really go wrong with these. It's all, like, these are like the, my basics that I go for. So, is it Guardian? No, it's Grace. You really can't go wrong. And then as you feel things out, you just kind of, you know, make them, make them go. Alright, so I think I've got a weapon or two that I can level up since we're going to be doing this. I do know. Okay, there's the Paris Prime. I'm not like there. No, we got two of them. Actually, we have three. We have a lot. I'm starting to collect weapons. Oh my god! I'm. Oh, that sounded weird saying that. Let's do. Let's do the basic one. Hey, What's up, Iso? Um, somebody had asked for a dual Toxicist build in Discord. I have been doing so many things today. I have not had a, like, I logged in a little bit before, not on like on the computer to do some other stuff. So I have I haven't logged into this game like at all. But I would definitely grab that and share what I have. It's not the greatest, but I'm definitely starting to get some nice some nice PPs with it. Anything else that I can level up that I have? I think I've already done these, but we could go through them again. Why not? No, we're at that point. Okay. Oh, I forgot to check these. I do these mostly through the app at this point because I don't remember what planets I stuck them on. The app tells me. But yeah. Um, I'm just gonna do Sanctuary Onslaught for a little bit. dramatic dog in the background. Oh, I'm going to look at it later. I can't use it. Oh my god. I haven't uh, been such a weird ass experience on the internet in the past like 48 hours. I don't even know what's going on anymore at this point.
I can't, I can't throw anything. It says I have one. I can't, I can't do it. Anywho. So yeah, I've been having, in the past 48 hours, I would, uh, we could say like 36 hours, but I'm just gonna round it up to 48. You know, for day's sake. But, um. Yeah, no. It's like I don't exist online for some things. I'm starting to feel like that in this game right now. Okay. I do- I don't know if I have any unveiled, but I do have some. Is there a particular one that you are looking for? Ooh, that's gonna be a definite negativo. I don't even think I've got one for myself. Some some Zob ribbons that you'd have to. You, I mean, you're gonna have to unveil them, but might have some. Actually, may, mm. it's been a while. I know that I've had to get some some expansion slots. I'm starting to get a decent collection of ribbons. I don't think I've got one for the Plague Cure Pass. If I do, it's the one that I'm using. <laughs> Is it? I got it. Yeah. 
and again. I never figured that one time I had like the most cursed challenge for a ribbon. I hated it. I hated it so much. It was. Oh god, which one was it? It was you had to get like 30 kills without touching the ground and without being noticed. Or something like that. Sounds easy, right? Like, you think that you would get that, right? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I tried doing that. I went to, um, I went into the void. I think it was, like, an exterminate mission? And... I tried it with Octavia, I tried it with Equinox, I tried it with... Aw, oh, damn. I tried it with... I don't remember how many different ones. Saren? Tried it with Saren? I couldn't get it. I could not get it. You know what I ended up getting it on? I had to use Ash. I did. I don't even. I don't even think I put Lull on. Maybe I did. I don't remember. But um, I had to see if I could like nail as many of them as I could when I was doing invisible. It was beyond frustrating. It was so beyond frustrating. And in the end, I don't think it was a really good ribbon. I really don't think it was that good of a ribbon that got unveiled for that shit. I think it was one that I'm just like, yeah, no. I think I ended up turning it into, like, rolling it for some of the other ones. Like the Hiku or something like that, I don't know. to level up 10 at least. 17 or something like that, I don't know. 16. Alright. Let's see what you can...
I approve of this color scheme. Let me show you mine. I really like my chroma. I don't like playing chroma, but I like my chroma. So I approve of this, uh, of this. Okay, we got those. But yeah, we got the, the the face too. It's a very well done chroma though. Put two chemicals together. Although, do you think you could get that chest piece to, to do the same colors? Just so it all blends in together. You got this nice soft coloring, but chest piece kind of sticks out. That's like the only thing. back with the gas. It's not showing the you got reds in there? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I see a little red right there. A little red underneath the um the arm. Oh yeah, no, that's like not the, even the color that you, okay. So how does this translate to this? Yeah, I don't see any of those reds. What the fuck? But yeah, no. I mean, that makes a little bit more sense now. Nicely done. I like it. I approve. Here, hold on. I'll show you what I base this one off of. I have to go get it. Oh, the coloring for mine. back after this so 
The thing that did not get shown on the room tour that I did on YouTube uh, last year was the armoire that's got all of the little open figures. I mean, obviously I've got figures, right? Like, I've got figures. But the ones that you don't see are the ones that I played with when I was a little kid. This one is based off of Dinobots from Beast Wars. If you know, you know. I actually really liked playing with these as a little kid. But... Right? I don't know. I mean, I can still probably... Rem I remember mostly how to do the transformations on these things, but I have a crap ton of these. Because I was a little kid. <laughs> And I played with them. But, um, they're all outside in an armoire. But yeah, no, nope. that's what these colors are based off of. Here, hold on. Let me do this. Hold on. Where is it? I actually started it up this time. So, you got like that off yellow, you got that purple thing, and you got the blue. So. Yes, <laughs> I played with Transformers, or I did. I played with Transformers and Beast Wars, so. <laughs> I didn't grow up with Transformers. Um, Kitty did, but I didn't. I grew up with Beast Wars. So. Why are gummy bears so goddamn delicious? I don't know if I have any. Hold on. That's the wrong way to go. Equipments, mods, mod, mods, not mods, mods. Um, I don't have any. I have the one that I'm using, <laughs> which is the Plaker Path. I don't even have any that you can unveil either. Where do we get these? Don't you get them from, um, isn't it, you can get them from Cephalon, right? I have to, I have to rap V. I have, um, so we have a melee shotgun rifle companion. Kit's gun. That's it. That's all I got. I don't have anything else. Where can I find these? Hold on. Iron Wake, which you can take 10 Ribbon Slivers into a Veiled Ribbon mod twice per week. You can do Sorties, the Steel Path. A Krithis Shop for 15 Pathos Clamps, the Archon Hunts, and the Steel Path Circuit. More sporadically from Night Wave, Tactical Alerts, Gift from the Lotus, and Daily Tribute. Oh, just a Companion Ribbon ones that you can get from Cephalon.
We'll do one there. I'm gonna get one there. You're not gonna get all of them. I'll give you one of each. <laughs> so. Nice. Alright, I'm going to finish leveling up Dagath, or Dagath. <clears throat> that is on my to-do list. After stream, I'm going to be making bread. Get the sourdough starter. I fed it. It's puffing up. So that's going to be a fun activity. I'm going to make some nice sourdough bread. Mm. Alright. So, let's switch back. Let's get Dagath done, so I can check that off of my to-do list. Also, we can get these two done. I'm not going to toss these, though, because I think these are with the, um... The syndicates, so I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm going to keep them. I think I've already leveled these up, though. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, but either way, I'm not going to get rid of them. Since I'm wanting to get away from these syndicates. I don't remember which ones I'm not done with yet. I think it's this one. Yeah, so I'm leveling these up again. Yeah, I'm just gonna level these up. I'm not gonna get rid of them. Um, I think this one. I'm just trying. Oh, it's these things. It's the emotes. Although I'm not really like. I just want to get them so I can say yes, I did this. But I do know that I also need to get the rest of these parts. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Let me go back into this. Let's go finish this up. That dog has passed out. Get all of these things. Right, we got all four. Run away. Cool. I actually kind of like the horse thing. Because they're all Kaths. I think they're all the same though, right? Pretty sure they are. You know, lore wise.
Yeah, it is. Fucking stampede, man. Alright, we're going, we're going, we're going. Get more energy. Are you serious? Already? Ooh, we're going to have to work on that efficiency, hands down. Or increase energy. I mean, that, that's a thing too. Oh, I'm getting more. Oh, there's five. Wasn't there four? How many Kates can I summon? Energy. My nose. I feel like I can get more power out of that. Killing some Eximus like crazy like this though. Let's fucking go. You're doing that thing again, Kitty? I thought you said you didn't need them. Also, didn't you say that you're doing that like two months ago? I'm so confused. It took them this long. I mean, I know that we always joke about Mexico being the land of tomorrow, but fuck. You were snowed in for two months? I swear to god, it's been like two months. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! So you're saying that two weeks does not equate to two months? Hmm. Debatable.
Anywho, so you got them. Got it, yeah. Well, screw them and their blemishes. Yeah. to 22. We got this. We got this. We got this. Oh, by the way, we have the resin printer out and it is doing resin printing things. Oh, that sucks. So I think the only basic warframe that I need is Corvex. I'm not in any hurry really to get him. It's one of those primes I still need to work on. But let's go ahead and finish up Dagoth. We are at 22. Let's get them. Let's get it done. Imagine having been like snowed in. Yep, sounds like a you thing. I'm kidding. Shit, that's a that's a parent sequence. Oh my god. Okay. So did you go stir crazy in those 12 days? Will you crawl in the walls? Let me out.
Nuts. Well, I should have been playing Pal World. I actually looked at the price. It's not that expensive here. I've got too many games to play through as is, so I'm not going to be getting that right now. But. Got the Eximus done. Nintendo really doesn't have a leg to stand on, though. And the only thing they could possibly do anything about, in my opinion, like coming from that perspective, would be too similar of, of, of monsters. And they look too similar to some that have been established. Past that, they got nothing. That's good. Well, yeah, in my opinion, it's really the only thing they can try to go after would be like they have their, their creatures would they look too similar to the ones that they have, which honestly, that's an easy fix. But past that, they can't they can't say you know it's because you know they they own the rights of throwing a ball, like no. Do you have any other games that are out there that have that? They don't have... yeah. we have in here that we don't have done. Well, those are done. I don't have this one. We'll grab this one. Pretty sure I have this one, but we'll grab that one too. Oh yeah. From what I've seen, it looks like they took the components of what a lot of other popular games have succeeded in doing and made their own. Ooh, I got these mods that I didn't have before. I'm not going to use them, but it's nice to have them. Oh, defeat the Ripple Lolis. Well, we can do that. So you're you're cruising. Of course you are. I mean, at this point, I wouldn't want to play Dino's, like, after after the shit that I went through trying to see at that server to set up, mm-mm. Yeah, 
they can kiss my ass on that. Like, you have no idea how pissed off that made me. So they can, they can go suck one. Because I really, really wanted to play with with people. And it's been some time. I'm like, yeah, I guess I'll go and do that. No, no. This one is Dagus, the Harseman. I actually like the fact that she can summon some ponies and then they just go charging. This one isn't too hard to get. It's a little bit of a grind, but honestly, not that bad. Yeah, except you get six of them with this one. Well, those are horseshoes. That's her number one. I'm not quite sure what her number two does, but it does additional stuff. Number three is... Crap, what was number three? Supercharge your weapons with extra critical damage. Yeah. Headless Horseman. That's what she's based off of. So. Yes. <laughs> she's based off of that story. Really fucked up story, too. Honestly, all the stories of the Warframes are kind of fucked up. I'm not going to lie, but... Uh, let's see if I remember how to put this. Um, she was the... She was like a... Not exactly a servant. She... Assigned? She had she had two people that she that she protected or served. I'm not quite sure if there's honestly a difference at this point. But, um... And they, they got her a horse, but they said you can't... You can't basically love... The horse more than you know you love us or something like that it's some really weird sick love triangle and basically don't give it a name because if you give it a name that means that you that you care about it more than us 
she gave it a name. They found out, and basically, she she was murdered. And then they're just like, oh shit, you know, we we liked her so much, and then they're just like, well, maybe we can fix her. And then they fixed her, but she had a really weird ass fucking grin on her face. And they're just like, yeah, no, we don't like that. She came back to life after all, yeah. Something like that. It's, it's, it's messy. It's messy. Kind of. It really is a sad story, though, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, she came out in October last year, so she's like, what, three months old? I just took my sweet time getting her. And two of her, actually, because I subsumed one. I'll actually read this. <sighs> story is told by grandmother. Um, story cutscene can be assessed. Ooh, actually, let's see if we can do that one. Maybe we can just go to the thing and you can watch it. As long as you're watching it, Kitty. I forgot that was a thing. Over here. There was once a Dax cavalry woman, the lover of an orphan couple named Corbell and Amelia. What was her name? We do not know, for they never used it. They called her by many pet names, though, for an example. Uh -oh.
So yeah, love triangle. Accidental impalement. Oh, there's a horse that died. Ballas, by the way. Murder. Down obediently when instructed, showed no emotion when the restraints clamped her limbs, and made not a sound when the full force of the dissolution beam blazed through her head. Mosquito. And out of the back of her steel skull, the couple were satisfied. Their sentimental mistake was dead, and furthermore. The smiling doll's face was erased. Now they could erase it from their memory. I doubt I need to tell you what face this thing clamored jerkily from the facility's waste disposal. In the still of a navarous night. She came back to life, man. Murdered. Such a good story.
Grandma came across her. <laughs> Only a nanny, and you came before me empty handed? Son of a bitch. God damn. So yeah. Basically, love affair with their servants. They didn't want to get rid of her. They gave her a horse. She ended up liking the horse more than more than more than them. Did I get it? But yeah, no, it's a really good story. It's a nice twist on um, Sleepy Hollow kind of thing. Um, they do have a couple of other. Oh, oh God! I need to do my dad. Helmets for her. Hold on. I don't think I've got them. No, there's just the other one. Which, look, you can be a unicorn. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's a good story. It's a good story. Oh shit, we're leveled up. Okay. And I was happy when they, when they did it, I was just like, holy crap. All right, we're never going to touch her ever again. Um, I'm not making it pink. Play the game. You can make yours pink. Um, what was I going to do? I know what we're doing weeklies. I'm not, I don't want to do Calls Garrison today. I'll do that off stream. Um, if not on the plains outside Thebes, you may derive sustenance from mineral plains, termite fragments, which the Apostolons call Ethel Down. You also never come across another down that appears to remotely be dead. Don't think. I mean, I know that we got stuff. We got okay, so we can go and grind out for some prime parts. I do know that I got another part, actually. Hold on. Um, where is it? This one. This mosquito is starting to really piss me off. Um, so we got that one done. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm kind of sad I'm not going to get rid of it, but I'm not going to get rid of it. We have the Prisma Lens. We need to make Prisma Lens. Oh, Lord. Well, she was never seen again. It has innate cold. <gasps> oh god. Um uh, 
can do that. Although I don't think we really need to do that. We'll do the multi shots. Actually. Lens equip. I leave off with this. Not bad. Um not that. Okay. Equip prisma lens. Apply mods to prisma lens. Provide. Let's see where we got with that. Damn. Uh, rhyme rounds. We'll do rhyme rounds. Oof. We really not have. Ugh. No, we don't. Huh. That's okay. I might be doing redo this anyway, but um. Okay, so let's go here. Let's just do that for now. I'm gonna be leveling up anyway. Alright, so Prisma Lens, we're gonna be doing Sakura Dual Sestro. Ugh, it's gonna suck so bad. I think that mosquito just bit my foot. We also have somebody in here that we need to level up. I'm in a leveling mood today. Lady Meh. Lady Meh does not do fucking shit. <sighs> this is the chest of one, right? Yeah. Got so many to pick from now. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. I'm gonna make this one dark. We're doing singularity, right? Yeah, singularity. Emissive, we can do red. We can do a nice blue color. Ancient green. Hmm. Harbinger red. Ooh, we can do an orange, a bright ass orange. Let's do the orange. Put the prime color on. Oh yeah, we can make we can make her look like holy crap. Let's go nuts. Let's just go fucking nuts. 
in that one, okay. And then... Yeah, let's go, ooh. Oh yeah, let's go with that one. I don't get a lot of chances to make like a nice red color on these things, or a brown. see here what's another one that we can work with on this could do this one we'll leave it there oh energy energy needs to change energy yeah nice bright red color Interesting that the attachments, you don't have the option to copy colors. Anyway. Let's get Lady Meh leveled up. Okay. <laughs> Equipments, inventory. I don't remember which part I saw that I had a, a wisp. Prime. Optics and systems. Okay. So I need the chassis and the blueprints. What do I have of what? We can do the lith one. The lith one. Feeling lucky. Let's see how well we go. That was fast.
I guess not. I was waiting for him to fight, man. Was not very lucky. That was in lie. Got. Let's do yeah, owned. Ah, oh, fuck it. Oh, let's go farm some some standing some boy traces. It failed. It failed? Yeah. Did you stop it? Yeah. Alright. What part failed? All the, oh, okay. <laughs> like it didn't stick to the print? Or the bed? Shit, I don't have Fang Prime. Actually, I think I do. I don't know. Probably do. Probably get rid of it. I need the Neuroptics for Hildren Prime. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and somebody's boss will bring a wisp thing and then they get lucky for their RNG. I don't fucking know. Just 
So it didn't stick to the pl the build plate. Yeah, no, and also shifted. Oh, why did it shift? Oh shit. You see the, the on the on the the comb. You see this thing? Yeah. She won't do that, yeah. That's weird. Okay. Time to reevaluate. Unfortunate. Yep. I'm to that point where I'm missing just one part for these things. I'm missing the Neuraptics for Hildren, the Neuraptics for Baruch. I, I, well, with Prime, I'm missing two parts the chassis and the blueprint. Currently farming void traces. Sure. But standing with uh, oh, not standing, um, whispers in the walls. There we go. Words. I right, said, so now you're caught up. <laughs> oh, I need to go do some standing with those guys. Yeah, we still got time. We can go do that. I want to go get a coffee refill, so hold on. I shall be right back. I'll push that happy little pretty AFK symbol. Whoop.
Ah, sneezing fit while getting coffee. You have two halogen prime neuroptics. I do need one, okay. No root parts, that's fine. Wisp prime system and chassis. I need the chassis for Wisp prime. So halogen prime and Wisp prime parts. I would gladly take those off of your hands. I think I have fish. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, but... Pretty sure I have fish. So under miscellaneous? I have a Sotha that I need to level up. I have some- okay, I do. I have fish. If you're willing to part with two parts of those, I will give you some fishies. Or anything else that you need. Within reason, within reason. Ew. Okay. I was not expecting that to ever be typed out before, okay. Sacrifice two more gummy bears. Oh, in game. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Under the miscellaneous. You want what you want. We can give maybe three of those. I don't know about those. Well, what kind of fish do you want? We can give you a tink. Guess we can. I, I, I guess this is from the Duveri, those things. Give you a trauma zone. Have fun with the fish. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. We can go get those bills. Whoop, whoop. How do you like Dagath, by the way, or Dagath? How are we pronouncing this? Dagath? Headless horse. Honestly, spam it all. All of them have so far been pretty good. Especially the Stampede, which is number four. 
I like that one a lot. Number one and two, though, are really, really good. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I need to go get more uh, Argon Crystals. We can do that, we can do that. This prime chassis is done. Shit. Oh shit. My dreams are coming true. The Argon crystals. Oh, friends only. Void. Capture or exterminate. Which exterminate's good. Which one is this one? And I just got done leveling up my dat my Degath today, so it was nice. The other one's being eaten. After having those really good drops the other day, now I'm like, oh, I have to go do this all over again. It's okay, though. It's gonna be worth it. What are you boofing for? I like popping these anyway. Yeah. I'm indestructible. Just need two Argons. Probably need more than two Argons, but right now I need two Argons. One. Roller ball of doom, go. Did not know that they had a Prisma lens. I don't know if that's new ish to the game, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I like the lens, period. I mean, but yeah, I didn't know that they had a, a Prisma version of it. Oh, come on, there's a star up there? Shit, how do you get in there? I still don't know how you get in there.
Oh, it was the wrong one. Oops. Do you know where the brush that I use? Fuck. For... Do you know where the brush that I use for cleaning is? No. I haven't seen that one in a while. Gotta be a way to get in here. I still don't know how. I've never learned. Right, so it's gotta be a way, right? Maybe there's like an opening somewhere? Well, that thing's gonna be busy. Not seeing like hidden. Not seeing any hidden doors or anything for that. Hmm. This is a panel that opens up. That's for sure. So if that's the case, there should be like a pressure plate of some type that you push. Right? Oh, wait. Okay. Secret there open according to the pressure plates and star rests, but it's an order. Okay. Stair. Oh, stair. Okay. So it's literally just these four. Well, this one's... Oh! Well, now they're all red. But it's not open. Did I lose 
lose the chance? Is this like a time thing? How many options you have? Shit. Oh, 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 oh. Elusive star. Come on to you. So how's it going, Hal? Good to hear. Oh, he's taking a nap. Look at the- he even put himself on the bench. I am so proud that they have learned how to do this. Oh god, there's a mosquito in this. I think it's trying to eat my legs. Oh, it's a party in here. Clearly we have to go that way, so we're gonna go back out here. Go push that. There's more over there. I just come from that way? Where did you guys come from? I didn't pass you by. Let's go time. Do do do. Oh yeah, no, the charge shot on the lens is a piece of shit. I'm not gonna lie. But it's like that little guilty pleasure that you know what? I feel like doing this today. I choose violence for the day, you know, that kind of thing. It might be just like a me thing, I don't know. You know, if I can get two more Argon Crystals, I can make the whatever the hell it is that I finally have enough resources for, I think. I think it's called the... it's not the Bubonico. Is it the Bubonico? It's, I have something that takes like two or three Argon Crystals. And then there's like three Mutagen Masses. And then there's like something else. I've had it in my inventory forever. Need to get rid of it. I don't need to get rid of it. I need to make it and then not get rid of it because I am now turning into one of those people that actually was trying to save and hold on to weapons. It sounds dirty saying that, but you know what I mean. Maybe.
I know! It sounds so gross saying it, but it's true. <laughs> it's with endearments, okay? I mean, to be in, in everybody's your the boloto. In your defense, hell, you've got you never had to go and like refarm some shit, so. I can happily admit, though, unless they're doing something with Kuva Lich weapons, I'm never going to get those things back. The ones that I do not want, I don't want. Grandma's skill looks fucking sick, I'm not gonna lie. Hey. Oh, that's a jet fuck! Oh no. Can we get it? You can get it off though, right? Yeah. I mean, I want to, like, be honest, usually it's the art department that carries most games. Story only takes a game so far. You play through the story, story can be amazing, right? Just hands down, you know, oh my god. But then, you're like, what do you do after the story in order to keep playing? Art. At least that's just my opinion, but... How many Argons do I have? Four? Get Uno Mas. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to get Uno Mas here. Come on, come on, come on! Wait, it's not there. They know it's gone.
Come on, 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 come on! Come on, Argon Crystal! Gimme, 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 gimme. Close! Domes. Think I'm going to find that last one. Oh, this is going to hurt so much. Hmm. Oh, nice. Well, not nice that you know that happened, but. Speed bump. Come on. You know what sucks is I'm using the Chesakubro for this right now. And you know my opinion about the Chesakubro. DE, please fix the Chesakubro. Please. I know that you guys are working on it. Please fix it. Make it good again. Make it worth using. That's how you do it. Break those things and then you go through. that last argument this time. Shit, about to speed up.
if I okay. Did not get that extra argon though. Damn. I have enough to do the hill jump part though, so. Let's just type in Argon. Argon. Yes, yeah, the Bubonico. Oh, I also need Placids, which is probably sitting on uh, <laughs> probably sitting on one of the uh, thingies, the one of the drones. All right, so it looks like I'm going to have Helgen Prime to play with soon. I have that. Okay. Well, hey. Alright, so this is the thing that I need to build. Ah, uh, I need three Argon Crystals. That's gonna be another day. I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, I've had this thing sitting in here for years. I wish I could tell you, like, the date of acquisition. That would be great. Alright, so, all I have left is a Baruch Prime Neuroptics, Wisp Prime Blueprint, and that is it. There's still a lot of other things I need to get, like the Corvass, I need to do that one. I need to get Shade Prime and Larkspur Prime. see what we have process wise here um equipment let's just do inventory all right so we have the stock and we need the barrel and the receiver we have three of those two of those ouch Oh, hey, we can also have this. Shade Prime Blueprint. I don't know what parts I need. Okay, so... I think that was the come with these guy for a second. Right, so... Wait, what is it I need? Barrel and the receiver. Alright, let's find Shade Prime. I need the blueprints. What is the other part? It's gonna be the system. No, I have the systems. The, is the Kamote's guy? What's the other part for Carapace? Ugh, okay. Carapace and blueprint. Okay. And then Corvass. Obviously, there's a lot more that I need to get, not just these weapons, but these are the ones that I know I have. Oh. That I'm getting close to finishing, kind of, or the ones that I have parts of that I know of. Just the barrel, huh? Oh, Jesus. Of course it's the barrel. Of course it's the barrel. Hmm. 
Okay. Ugh. All right, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I want to like the chest. I want to like the chest. Seriously. Just... Done fucked up. You done fucked up. Dude, something happened. They fucked it up. What it is, I don't know, but they fucked up the chest up, seriously. And that makes me sad inside. And I have to rant about it. Because I really do believe that all of the companions, the sentinels, the robodogs, the moas, all of them have something that they're good at. Except the Chessa. It's the most useless fucking companion ever. <laughs> Seriously. That's saying something coming from me. Seriously. What's up, Esteban? <clears throat> Alright. Be over it. I'll be over it. I will be over it. Maybe. Maybe never. Alright. So we need Baruch. Rhyme what? Oh, Jeff. Where's the XCB6 drop? Oh yeah, I still have to get Gauss. Gauss Prime. Thirty B B sixty five. Oh hey, she prime systems. I don't need that, but hey. Of course, this relic is presently vaulted because why would I get something easy? Where the fuck do you come from? If it's not from that one, then they can't all be vaulted. XTP7. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no. I'm gonna be honest, I like... How am I gonna word this? Something that I like about this game is that there's always something to do. I mean, of course there's going to be a, a point in time when you don't have anything to do. Well, that sounds really weird saying that, but... Like, I mean, I'm still trying to get up to MR30. There's always new quests to do. I mean, I really want to get to the point where I can just cruise, basically. I don't know. Like, I'm still trying to gain to that point. I want to hit legendary. I want to hit legendary things. I mean, they just got done doing legendary what for? Um, Baruch relics, two of the three axes are vaulted. They might be older ones. I don't know. Axe B7s are. Oh, God. Oh, hey, we can do this one. That one's not that bad of a drop rate. Survival. I saw disruption and interception. I'm like, oh, that's cancer for me. Okay. <laughs> But no, I can definitely do survival over on Eris. We can do that. It's not that bad. Yeah, that's why I was... Yeah. So this one and this one. These are the vaulted ones. Mm. 
this one's not. This one's a, this is the one that's out. So I'm going to go farm some of these. Dark Sector Survival is nice. It's a really good way of farming some currency too. So. It doesn't even retrieve the spoils of battle. It doesn't even do that anymore. Anyway, okay. I'll leave it be. I'll leave it be. Public. Um, wait, what was it? What's the dark sector on this one? Zabala. Not to get confused with Zavala, which is Destiny 2, and rest in peace for him. It's a number, what's up? Friendly squad, let's go grind out some of these relics. It is an umber. Do I have this? Uh oh, I'm seeing something there. I do not. Infestation found. You are the umber? Are we still at the beginning? I think, yeah, we're still at the beginning. Holy crap. Oh, I'm stuck. There you go. Not gonna lie, Chick fil A is pretty legit. It's like if I ever visited the USA, it's gonna be somewhere I'm gonna be like, I wanna go to Chick fil A. Sounds like you need to empty your trash. Why is this thing so weird? Squiggle mark. All right. That's the downside. Yeah. But, I mean, in, uh, yeah, I remember that was like surfacing when I was there in, uh, in Atlanta, but I'm going to be honest, their food is delicious. Mm-hmm. 
Mm, nope. You gotta do it, Umber. Because if you don't even want to do it now, you're going to fail as an adult. It's part of life, man. There's things that I don't fucking want to do, and I have to do them. Man, now you just sound like Orion. Like, bro, adulting is hard, I get it, but come on. Well, that's just sad. No, it's not uncalled for because Orion is always saying, can you come clean my room? Can you tuck me into bed? He does. He does. And that's not like a, a fact that people have not heard. Shit, we need to get to the extraction. Oh. God. Jesus Christ. You got this, Umber. You got this. Orion just reminds me of of, of the of the middle child in in a family. I mean this with zero ill will that this is just how it is it just reminds me of the middle child in a family where he just he gets away with a lot of shit <laughs> but also can't get away with a lot of shit I mean, we didn't, like, Kitty and I, it's just her and, her and me. We don't have a, we don't have a middle child in that situation, but if we did, Orion reminds me of what that would be. History does suck, but at the same time, it is important, because if you do not understand or learn history, you're bound to make repeat mistakes. Which is how it is. It is a Vic. We were doing a resin 3D print and it failed, so he is having to clean stuff before we attempt again. Before he attempts again. But we have not repeated the Holocaust. Yet.
Key word in that phrase, yes. But. Right, did I get a thing from that? I don't think I got that as a drop. Uh, last one results. No. Nah, it's... How do I put this? <laughs> so, I think... I'm pretty sure a lot of people can agree that that whole entire thing was bad. But I think that there was definitely some telltale signs of shit that was going on that I'm going to hopefully assume, this could just me be naive, but hopefully assume that, you know, there's things in place that make sure that things like that don't happen again. I could be wrong. Maybe we did not learn. I have no fucking idea. But... <sighs> the boys. <laughs> But, I don't know, like, <sighs> yeah, I mean, genocide is bad, no matter how you try to word that or see that. Because that's a part of society, Umber. you're like talking about that now I'm starting to see why why there's so much confusion of how uh, people don't understand the basics when it comes to the other <laughs> the other one this. Yes, about is on his other computer, apparently. He's doing the emotes. I'm trying to think of how else to rephrase this. things I see on online where somebody is like saying hey I'm having a hard time doing this blah 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 and then somebody else usually says well why can't you do it like oh, that's not that's not a good example how the fuck do I even give an example of that like you 
You need to have the basic understanding of like what the other biological gender experiences to a point. I mean, there's that first of all, or what they have to deal with, what they have to go through. I mean, that's just. <laughs> I have no idea. Because at that point, you just get a bunch of fucking ignorant people who don't understand how A, B, C, D work. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what we're talking about, right? I'm really bad at trying to talk about this. To a point... I mean... Never. It never does. I don't know. All I know is like fucking stupid YouTube algorithm that posts things on one of my accounts. Also the shit that we watch on the YouTube app. Or like you see people who are like, oh I want to have this kind of relationship or something like that. Or just like basic work conditions. And then they're asking for something and then the other the other people they don't they don't fucking understand, like Common knowledge, bro. That's a good way to put it. Good wording, hell. button. I guess a good way to put it would be that everybody has their own needs, right? Let's see if we can see if I can redeem myself with this conversation. Everybody has their own needs. And, you know, certain genders have needs compared to the other one, especially when it comes to, you know, physiology stuff, right? Understanding that that exists, you know, that's that's a good start. But I've seen that people have become either ignorant, or oblivious, or just downright denying the fact that that shit actually exists and that it does play a part into some things. That shit baffles the fuck out of my brain, man. You might be asking where would this be useful in in like in like a job thing? Let's say that you're somebody who is gonna be an architect. Right? You're gonna be at like <sighs> you're 
I'm going to be an architect. You're in charge of designing facilities like bathrooms or something. You, you design a building, there's going to be bathrooms. Obviously, you're going to have to understand that, you know, bathrooms require one type of stuff and other stuff and, like, different ones, right? Like, that makes no sense. God damn it. Doctors. Doctors have to know how things work. I mean, you could, you, you technically could do with that, but, um, let's say for instance, yeah, we'll go with the architect thing. Let's go for the instance. Even if you want the unisex bathroom, do you realize that most bathrooms should probably have, well, for those of you who are, who are male, like you don't have a stall that you go and you sit down and then you have like a little thing on the side that you dispose of stuff women do would you think about putting that in the bathroom just saying oh yeah no the urinals are a weird ass thing I'm not gonna lie that's a weird thing but <clears throat> Exactly. Women, women, women need a trash, a trash container of some type in, 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 in public bathrooms. I'm pretty sure that's almost a thing. I don't know if that's actually like a law or anything, but that is something that you have to take into consideration. If not, you're going to be having a lot of mess. Or plumbing issues. So there's that. Um, For a second, I thought you were calling me a trash container. <laughs> I was gonna come and tell you, go fuck yourself. I don't know. I'm talking about the monthly thing that biological women experience and that you need to. Dispose of. <clears throat> I don't know. I haven't seen Vic having to use a tampon or a pad during, you know, anything during his <laughs> during the month. I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe he's maybe he's broken. <laughs> Lower noses, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's a little bit more of a thing that, you know, yeah. I mean, it's nice to have, I don't know what you guys have in your bathrooms. I've never been in a men's bathroom. <laughs> what? Ah. Yes, inside a stall. Not the, not the garbage can that is in the corner over by the sinks. <laughs> so I mean we I mean I'm <laughs> you need to take me into a men's bathroom what is a men's bathroom like cleaner yeah I know that especially after going to university in Atlanta Jesus Christ I don't know where most of those people were ra they must have been raised in a barn or something like what the fuck <clears throat> I mean I know in the men's bathroom there's usually one maybe two stalls by default maybe not there's a lot of urinals and there's sinks and there's a a trash can for the paper towels, maybe a hand dryer of some type, soap, you know, stuff like that. But I don't think if in the stalls that you have little containers mounted to the wall to dispose of feminine products. Mm. Yeah, I, I said screw it with the cryptic shit. I'm just like, fuck it. Just use big. Let's just use big words. But yeah.
it. <laughs> but I mean, I have been in some. Bath this is like a long time ago. Land far, far away. There have been some bathrooms I went into. I think that they were supposed to be unisex or they were converted. I'm not quite sure, but there was ones that did not have the the waste receptacle on the wall. And I, you, would, you would have to take it out with you and dispose of it in the trash can that was by the door. And I don't know if men have this weird thing, but I know there's a lot of women who are just like... I mean, I'm not like this anymore. I was when I was a younger person, but I did not want to, like, be carrying that disgusting thing out with me when I go to wash my hands so that other people in the bathroom can see. That's just, that's a privacy thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the condom and cologne dispensers. <laughs> what? I'm being honest. <clears throat> Do they, do they even have those? I don't know. That might be a country thing, like a different country thing. I don't think they have those in the USA. Maybe like eons ago, but... I do know one weird thing here in Mexico was that the Soriana place that we've gone to... No. The Mega. They don't have toilet seats. Jesus Christ, Umber, what the fuck? <laughs> but anyway, so that's a weird conversation that we went to. Shiny thing touch bitch. Wow. So there's that. Oh. Alright. But anyway, so let's, let's change from bathrooms to, like, architect and bathrooms to medical doctors. I mean, there's been a lot of times where people have been dismissed for health reasons because they don't know like just they don't understand that's why you know second opinions are always a good thing to do I can confirm you need more bidets here just anywhere you need a bidet honestly just gonna be honest so clean anyway I think I am going to just go into this by myself. But yeah, I think a medical doctor, you'd have to know both, both sides of physiology. If, if a female goes in and says that I'm, you know, I'm experiencing pain. There might be something else that's not what you would know. That you would know or experience. So. Maybe, maybe it's something that deals with reproductive parts. You never fucking know. You never know. A bidet is a really fancy uh, thing that's like a water fountain that goes up your butt. Well, kind of, your backside. When you use the bathroom. It rinses. Ass washer. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that. Um... That's another thing. Who am I going to call upon?
Yeah. Can confirm. They actually teach that. I remember when I was working at YMCA that when we had to go to the CPR training, they, they say that. See here. Knowing knowing the mental struggles that that each other experience, that's a thing. A lot of it is a shared or a mutual um, thing. You know, like everybody, everybody gets anxiety. Everybody gets depression. But there's like other types of psychological things like and like the traditional old school bullshit is that you know men should be like you know strong and not show emotion and bullshit like that and it's just like no they're just a bunch of fucking crap but knowing the pressure the societal pressures that they might have a lot of societies i think men are usually seen as the ones who have to be the one that handles a lot of a lot of like the, the the grunt work and stuff like that. So there's that to take into consideration. Oh Jesus. I've delivered another life support capsule. But I mean at that point in time that's just like understanding. Like, the struggles that a lot of people go through. But then that also goes down into, like, different things that, like, different countries experience. Because, I'm gonna be honest, after the things that I have learned that Japan goes through, fucking hell. Those guys are ruthless. Massive coronary. Mm. See, that's not, that's not good. That's not good. <sighs> Sorry, my back is so pop right about now. I'm just thinking back to some of the things I've also seen people talking that 
apparently there is a resounding amount of uh, people who think that women can control when when they have that monthly visitor. I had to say it. No, bro. No, we don't. That's not something we can just switch on and off. Trust me, it would be amazing if we could. Yes. Sadly, sadly, I've just seen things just deteriorating ever since fucking No Child Left Behind was a thing. Which, which sucks. Which sucks. Because my mom was a high school teacher up until... Actually, a little bit before I moved to Mexico. Nah. The things that the things that a lot of people don't know what teachers have to go through. My mom, my mom had to have a certain amount of students. My mom would have to have a certain pass failure. And if, if she did not meet those, uh, those percentages or those numbers, she got into trouble because apparently her curriculum might be too hard. There were people in high school high school grades 9 through 12 that she was having to pass that did not know how to read that did not know how to write Or the ones that really fucking hurt. Or the ones that were just like, well, I don't need to know any of this because I'm just going to find someone to marry and you're going to take care of everything. That's like the worst mentality and attitude to go through life with, I'm going to be honest. Because then you see a lot of these people who like are on TikTok that are complaining that they can't find you know, a mate because they don't bring anything to the table. They they offer nothing. And these are people that are probably about that age that my mom was having to deal with having to deal with on like she did not want to have to pass them. When my dad was grading papers, like when you're in like third grade, you may or may not remember these, but there was a, um, oh, there is a test that you have to take for, um, I mean, I think you also take it when you go between eighth grade and high school. It's like, basically it places you. It's a placement test, basically of what you do know, what you don't know. And when he was having to grade those papers, it's like a thing that's talking about, oh dude, I don't know the names of these things. But he was having to grade these things for like the third grade age. So that's like what ages, what eight? Seven, eight, nine, somewhere in that range, depending on when you get enrolled. Um, 
And like just reading comprehension, like it goes through like it gives you a very simple situation. It's like a paragraph that talks. I don't know. We're going to use up a name here. We're going to use Dave. And Dave goes to school, and on his way to school, he passes by a building or like a store that sells apples and flowers and like they give you this really short synopsis and then they're asking the child to answer some simple questions from this very short story it's like a paragraph long and when my dad was grading these papers he was like these kids are dumb as a box of rocks like they could not understand what was being read or what they read and then spit that information back out and this was after that whole entire no child left behind thing got kicked in and then by the time that those kids probably reached the high school level that my mom was teaching that's where they were they couldn't they had piss poor reading comprehension they did not do their homework they didn't see a need to do it and basically just they had no no hopes for their future. They're probably people who just sit at home with mom and dad and yeah, anyway. That's being real, real weird about that one, but <sighs> Yeah, it might be something called Casp. I don't know. I don't know. This is like a long ass time ago, so But yeah, no, it's Those would be the younger millennials, older Gen Z. That would be the age range that I'm talking about in this whole entire situation. <clears throat> so, and from what I understand, Gen Z is entering the workforce or they've been in the workforce. They have been doing the workforce. The whole entire generation is not in the workforce yet, but it's it's a problem. It's a problem. So Umber, when you're sitting there telling me things like this, I'm just like, yep. Education system has definitely failed. I'm not saying that you're stupid. I'm saying anything far from that. I'm saying that you you don't know what you want to do. And I remember when I went through school that they the reason why they have so many different subjects is that this is how I always saw it. They have so many different subjects so that they kind of let you explore different areas in life that hey, you know what? The chemistry, biology, there's those are some cool concepts. If you like stuff like that, there's careers that you could do. Or with history, there's careers you can do with that. With sports, there's career, like there's careers with everything. Because in the end, in the end, I'm going to be honest, you want to have some type of job or some kind of career because that way you become, you know, self-sufficient. I would say that you become, you know, part of you know, being, you know, helpful or useful to society, but I want to be honest, society seems to be kind of shit lately, but anyway. Like, there's so many different subjects that that they offer that you can take it if it has no interest to you. Usually that's why they only have, like, one semester that they require you to do. Um, I know a lot of people argue the whole entire mathematics thing, and I'm going to be honest, you may not have to understand math, but it's kind of teaching you how to do some, some thinking skills, especially when it comes to, especially when it comes to like calculus or algebra, geometry, you may not be using that, you know, in, in day to day life, but at least critical thinking skills, you know? That's the thing. I mean, as I said, you may not have to think of like, oh man, how do you get the radius of 
of this and, you know, calculate the circumference and the, the surface area. I mean, unless you're going into that for, you know, like a job or some kind of career path, but it's how you go about thinking of how to do that. That's, that's something that you can't really get by doing nothing, honestly. <clears throat> oh, worst English, Jesus. Let's see her English class. There was spelling, definitions. I'm pretty sure that that was still something that even all the way up into high school. Um, what else? Reading, reading comprehension. You need that in everything. Um, what else? I mean, that also can spark imagination. Writing, yep. It's also, I'll remember. Reading some stories. Learning some really fun words and their definitions, how to spell them correctly. Here is a subject. Go write a 10-page essay. Due at the end of the semester. <laughs> Need history is just the same. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I always enjoyed history to a point. Like, learning about the ancient civilizations was always entertaining. Especially, especially because, um, Kitty would take me to some of her, um, her classes, and I think one of them was history. In, in college and I remember when she was doing stuff about I don't remember if it was the Aztecs or the Mayans it's probably Aztecs that shit was fun <laughs> learning about that with her that was pretty cool and then imagine when I got to when I met Vic and I was just like oh my god and then when I came to Mexico I was just like oh my god and then when we went to the Aztec ruins holy shit It was pretty cool. Fun fact, if you ever wanted to, like, go visit Aztec Ruins, go to Mexico City. Mexico City. Like, that's the state and the capital. Um, or the city and the state, sorry. <clears throat> um, go to the Palacio, which is the palace. That's where our, our president does bullshit. There is Aztec ruins right outside. You can go. And they have English there. It's an excavation site. It's pretty fucking cool. As you can see, the giant um, Gothic architecture, right? The, the church is basically right on top of it or right next door to it because... The history of Mexico is kind of sad. But yeah, no, that's pretty fun. Did I get an Axie drone or not Axie drone? An Axie relic from that? Please tell me I did. If not, I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm not doing this. No. Fuck it. Ugh, I give up on that. Let's go back to the relic cracking. I think I had a lot of the stuff from Lark's.
extra prime barrel or reset. Mm. Oh god. Nah, let's not try it. Nope. <clears throat> nope. Actually, let's go do some Fibonacci stuff. I'm not really feeling the relic cracking. And before anybody thinks that you know, that I that I have not done anything. I worked I worked in the vet industry for sixteen years. I have seen some shit I have done I have done my time. <sighs> I'm now on a new trajectory in life. Actually a couple of new trajectories, but I've been there. I've been there. You wanna be a lawyer? Jesus. That's a thing, okay. Wait, you're in California, right? Oh, that's... So many different rules. <laughs> you don't like it? Yeah? You don't like history, but you want to be a lawyer. I mean, you're gonna have to... That's... 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 that... yeah. <laughs> Let's change out one weapon. Change this one out. Yeah, it kind of does. It does. Because you're going to have to, you're going to have to know about like things in the past of like something versus something and then the outcomes and then like how that applies and then things you got to pay attention to and a whole bunch of other crap. Um, I never wanted to do that crap so I wanted to help animals. And then I got burned out because it's like people don't value their pets as something that, you know, needs basic health care like they do. People are talking, people are talking, and I can't really read it right now. Yeah? Yeah? Mm 
No, you're you're gonna have to know stuff like that, but the constitution and shit like that. Oh, that's a computer. Where is it? Where is it? I think someone already got it. What's something that you can just sit there and like art? I mean, politics. I love that sound. The sound of the... Just the, the... I don't know. I don't know what to call that. This thing. The... Oh, whatever the fuck. News anchor. I'm not quite sure exactly what you go through for that, though. But I've seen I've seen people lose their shit 
Oh, that sounds so nice. I've seen that people lose their shit over some things. the news lies per se is just very particular in how it presents information. And see, I, that blows my mind that there's people out there that they just, they don't care, they don't give a shit anything just as long as they get paid. Like, certain things I get, but at the same time, there's certain things that, like, with the fucking clear conscience, I could not do. That's... that's a thing. Amber, are you going to be one of these people that goes into a career and just because it makes a lot of money and you're going to be miserable doing it? Damn. Props to people who can do that. Equip yourself with an Atropos robe that you may pierce the vitriol with it. A vitriol. Administer the Atropos serum and defend the boggling eye and your fair cheeks. see where the other things are for this. That guy's in there, so we're gonna leave him be. Don't 
the man. I like whoever is the voice actor for Fibonacci. And see, that's 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 unfortunate. I have learned. Apparently, I don't know. I feel like Kitty and I have. Came from, came from somewhere that does not exist anymore. Because I keep finding more and more people who are just, they don't have strong familial bonds, relations, anything like that. I'll be singing a different tune later. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I remember when I was in college. I didn't give a shit about relationships. I wanted to get my degree. I wanted to get out working. Unfortunately for me, I did have a relationship shortly after that. And that guy was a manipulative asshole. But that relationship taught me a lot of stuff. That guy was a lying sack of shit. Manipulative. 
He always had an excuse. Always had an excuse of why he couldn't find a job or why he couldn't do things around the house or why he couldn't do the basic fucking things. I was the one that had the job. I was the one who was juggling everything, having to make the connections and everything else, and this guy just stayed at home, just surfed the web. He was an emotional burden. And at some point in time, I just, I fucking snapped. He lied to me, he said uh, he had a job lined up down in Florida, so I had packed up my life to go with him to Florida. Turns out that he lied to me. I was stuck there for four months trying to figure out how to get stuff to work out. And when I realized that things were not going to work out because mostly because I woke up in the middle of the night when he was cheating on me with some person on my couch in my living room. Yeah. I learned a lot from that relationship. Oh, I hated that guy. But no, that guy, he always had an excuse. So after that, you can pretty much get, see where my stance on relationships were. This guy needs help. It's still hunting. Find the burrow with winters in. Kill that. Anyhow. Go back to happy talk. I told you not to mess with it. I'm glad you're okay. 
Yeah, let's go back to have to talk. <laughs> sound. So, it looks like it looks like we're, we're agreeing that maybe not Pathfinder for our next uh, tabletop RPG sessions on Discord. Nice. Um, not sure what we're going to do yet. I mean, I, I talked about it in uh, in Discord, and I know I've talked about it in stream before, but, um, like, I spend a decent amount of time prepping some of those engagements just to find out that, uh, shit did not get saved. Kind of, it kind of kills the mood. I know Squirrel has no interest in the world of darkness. I don't know if there is any interest for D&D 5? Like 5th edition? I don't know. Too slow for that one. Yeah. I honestly don't know where we're gonna go. I mean, I have... I have thought about trying to do a little bit of both. Because I'm gonna be honest. If we're doing D&D &D 5... Oh, actually. Pretty much anything. It's gonna be a homebrew. And I know that Squirrel does not want to do, or has no interest, I should say, in Vampire because of the amount of politics. And, I mean, yeah, there's politics in the game. But, maybe... I started kicking this around late last night when I was working on some stuff. We could try to do a hybrid of the two. Um, not quite sure how I would manage to get that done. As I said, I, I literally just started thinking about it last night. Actually, it was like early ass this morning, like three o'clock in the morning. But, um,. But maybe if you wanted to do the vampy thing, we could in D and D five, we could have 
people be vampires. Could do some stuff that way. I don't know. It's just a thought. But yeah, no, we're gonna. I want to homebrew. Like, I think we had a lot more fun homebrewing, honestly. As you guys, as the players, and then me as the DM. I haven't checked to see if there is one, but we could go a little bit further in depth for that. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I would have to do some research to see how to go about that. So it would be kind of be like Vampire the Masquerade, minus the political bullshit. Maybe. I don't know. Could try. Could try. Now you'd have to give me you'd have to give me some time to think about how I would do that. But we could that we could try. We could try that. I don't know. I have no idea if that would work or not. But, I will tell you one thing, whichever way we go, there's going to be a lot of prep, prep work on my side before we even start those sessions. Yes, yeah, we're still working on this. All right. Three more. Three more. Actually, four more. Yeah, four more. You have your orders. But we still haven't really gotten any. I mean, we have had some some people. I think Amp and Squirrel are talking on Discord about it. Number Number has talked. Okay. We're still missing Esteban, Bogey, and Apple, I believe. And what they want to do.
But I also think that if no matter what we do, like it's it's gonna be the hope room in the end. But um, get a little bit more out of you guys. That sounds really weird, but I'm pretty sure you know what I'm trying to say. A little bit more into character, you know? But yeah, no, like things started off strong with, with this with this Pathfinder thing that we started, but I'm definitely part to blame on that. Well, we have seen all that we may from this vantage. I have marked a new atropoke probe. Stimulates. There it is. Like, where is the down? I don't know that. Come on. me not using Bob and a Mirage for this stuff.
take too long to evolve that. start wrapping this up um but yeah i think i still have like two more runs to do so i'm gonna be doing this after stream yeah all right boys and girls and everything that's in between that is it for me this evening we'll be concluding tomorrow with some there was two action. Um, I'm going to be going to the after stream party, doing these last two bounties, and then doing everything I usually do when I'm just chatting with you guys. Um, goodbye, Umber. Um, I was going to say something. Ah, yes, today's Thursday, right? Yeah. So I've got some things that I've got to work on trying to get done by this weekend. We do have Arma 3 scheduled for this weekend, so make sure that you are coming to that if you are wanting to do that. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. I'm If I can get done with some things this weekend, I'm going to possibly start redoing a little bit of the stream layout a little bit changing it up just a tad bit um this this screen is going to stay the same i'm happy with this main screen the coming online might change a little bit the going offline is going to change so but that is something that i do want to work on but as i said earlier it depends if i can get done with other things i still need to do the script for the video for this weekend so other than that, you guys have been great. Catch you guys tomorrow. Um, also, make sure that we have that conversation going on in Discord for the next TTRPG, since we're kind of not going to do Pathfinder 1E. <laughs> so, other than that, you guys have been awesome. Bye-bye, take care, bye-bye! That's it, man. Game over, man! It's game over!